the global climate alliance is an effort to forge uh, a new uh, alliance between the global north and the global south uh, we all understand that we have a common responsibility to bring down carbon emissions uh, presidency we have an opportunity to put forward a proposal for a global climate alliance building on the work that germany did when it was the g7 uh, president uh, and where they introduced this idea of an open and inclusive climate club uh, we could take forward that proposal that thinking uh, and bring it uh, global climate alliance uh, will be countries uh, that do want to uh, take on these accelerated decarbonization targets well there has to be uh, a strong set of incentives Uh, for the global south to be a member of such a global climate alliance as i said most countries in the global north have already made commitments and are making very substantial investments to decarbonize the challenge for the global south is that even though net zero is net positive and it is better for them with the we look at it in terms of gdp jobs air pollution dependency on fossil fuels any parameter that we look at Uh, it is actually better for us to move towards net zero but it requires very substantial amounts of capital well beyond uh, the mobilization capabilities of the global south and it requires uh, a host of new technologies whether they are battery technologies uh, whether they are uh, green hydrogen technologies biofuel technologies all of these new technologies are going to be required to get onto the decarbonization pathway uh the global north uh, will provide support financial technology policy support all of these ways in which they can support the global south the global south will benefit from that support and in and in in, in turn the global south will commit to much more aggressive decarbonization targets the, the very important part that we do need to understand in terms of decarbonization or green investments is that the bulk of these investments perhaps 80% of these investments have to be in the private sector this has to be a market driven approach because if we are going to decarbonize power if we are going to decarbonize steel cement fertilizer aluminum if we are going to decarbonize real estate uh, all of these uh, will have to be done by the private sector the money this is a question of how do we mobilize the trillions of dollars of private capital that exists in this world to flow to the global south to be uh, invested in these green technologies mm-hmm. it's time that we do something really dramatic and radical uh, for uh, the global uh, climate support that we're getting from the public across the world to take decisive action on climate change uh, is is really what's pushing us uh, to act uh, senior political leaders around the world uh, do believe that it is the time to act now good news is that net zero is net positive it's a win 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 uh, for the global north for the global south for the planet so i'm very optimistic that uh, for the sake of our children our grandchildren and for our sake as well uh, we will have very tangible and material action uh, on uh, decarbonization now